I'm home and school is officially out. Woo! Well, the checkout was not what I had in mind, but I got it done and now I'm here. Vacuuming the room and and cleaning the cabinets and all the bathroom, the sink, a whole list of others. Yep. And that and then checked out what came here. Reunited with my my family here under this roof, and and that's why I'm really happy to announce finals is over, and now I'm back making, doing what I want to do the most. Yeah, but I'm not giving up on my school spirit. Go Thunderbirds! And more coming soon after the break. Yep, Boulder City. This, this is the this is like Las Vegas Junior, and and it's also the place for for the annual thing going on today. It's also the place for parking sp spaces in the area near Arizona Street, the Boulder Theater. Yeah, look at that cat here. Yeah, look at all these aisles of cars here. Oh the, they got that open open hood and going on. And, and the horse stands by as stands by as well. Mark, 1962 Thunder Thunderbird, looking good. Family car here. Hill car with all of its beigeness. How about this red car <laughs> with the hood up open to show, to show its in interior? More galaxy. Hmm. Good thinking, pops. The galaxy is. Is is surrounding us with all of its planets and stuff. Bright blue um, car from from the 50s. Okay, this car is a little newer. <laughs> from the looks of, the, of this, it looks. Hmm. Look at, how about these Chryslers right there? Hmm. So many years of wait of of highlighting um, these car shows back in the day. Now they're finally here. How's this car? That's a man saying it's all it's old, but a good. Since in in life isn't is an understatement right now. <laughs> that's one that's one brave fact to be learned about. <laughs> well, fun fact: I have a car named after Shelby, that, and, and it's a top pick. Left and right, except for the the T ahead of the O here. <laughs> yeah, I just had to take a stop to look look at the trees, but still it is because of how great they are. This one came here from Tennessee. <laughs> that made me think about um, how, every, how every car came to be, you know? And as you can tell from my zo zooming of the lens, you can, get, you can tell it's giving, me, it's giving you quite more headroom to what, what do you think of what, what people come here for. Any um, rods are on this engine, <laughs> you never know. More than your typical car. Look at that tiger, it's damn good for my age. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Man, this is like the Ed Sheeran of the 50s right there. Trucks are, are made in all shapes and sizes, including this one. <laughs> it looks mean. Quick stop to the Boulder City Fair thing. Hmm. Not bad, but it could do with a bit of a roller coaster or something like that um, to make it. Get this place more. Give this place more of a snow um, theme park theme feeling. Just my just my two cents. M America, please. And that's, that's, that guy did a good job on a Star Spangled Banner earlier today, and this is how we show our patriotism. All right, the tractors. They make an, a guest appearance here at this fair, and oh, a big shout out to that dog from the Geico commercials for making a surprise guest appearance today. We, he waves to us, and I wave to him back. <laughs> trying to be like, all serious, but there, he's just another dog. He's, he's got another cluey wooey coming up, and, he's, and he needs to take a nap, apparently. Bull Reigns. Just take a look and see their, these colors in, in their very finest, covering those cars. Mustang. Mustang. See where we're going here? Look at this the, the, the size of this speedometer. You can actually see the, how, where you're going. Yeah. 
in the name of this Thunderbird. Well, that that's pretty much it for the car show and the fair here. So we think we're gonna like um, take a, another step forward in this trek of what's to come in Boulder City. That's right. Here in the backyard, we're always Vegas strong, commemorating this this motto that this town will forever have until the end of time. Vegas strong, no matter what happens. Yes, th there is a little bit of everything when it comes to purchasing things from from this tra trade show. We get, you need to take a stop at Boulder Bowl if you want to go bowling. <laughs> yep, one for the bowl. But no trip to Bull City is complete without a trip to the to the luxury stores filled with lots of countless um, and 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 ageless antiques. Yeah, and don't forget the Kino shop. Yes, there is in the antique market. We just saw. Next up, we have this place called hmm, Goat Feathers. The well, before before the term goat, there was this Goat Feathers, and named after a goat. Sixty-six, anyone? Look at all these cars. The it's endless here. Now there's another car show going on in the store this time around. That's a great place to be at the general store. It's time for a little stroll near Hotel Plaza and Wyoming Street. And another another angle to the Goat Feathers place. The Emporium version. I'm all excited about about a few things like the car show and then I just realized that Cinco de Mayo is today. Huh. Well, that well that and that concludes that portion of the trip to Bold City. But no trip would be complete without a quick visit to anything related to Lake Mead. River? Check. Sign to commemorate the the trip to Lake Mead? Check. Yep. Road check. And that place is the visitor center. Yeah, look at this view of this place. You can really see it. All oh, this water going on. Yep, you can't go wrong with Boulder. You gotta love it. Still a hot day, but what could go wrong? Maybe Boulder City. We're off. The norm we see called downtown city life. This is the Boulder City version. But it's beautiful though. Can't go wrong with that. In favor of this? So much for the doubters that that have their that are questioning the future of this place. This place looks booming. Wow.